Hi guys, Kisa Cukit, Justine here. Um, I wanted to show you something that I had been working on. Um, I work with a couple little uh, kiddos who um, struggle with reading and um, spelling. And I was trying to kind of figure out a way to intrigue them in um, doing some more reading. So I created a board game. Um, and that is what I'm going to show you today. So um, give you some ideas of other ways to try to get kids to um, do reading when they really don't want to read books or they really don't want to sit down at the table and do some writing and um, I know it's, it's hard for them to to want to focus and do that so um, I was getting a little creative and I came up with a game so I'm gonna give you give you the tour of my little board game that I made so the board game that I created is called the tree train um, I'm gonna open and let you see so here is what the game looks like. I created a board game just out of cardboard and some paper. Um, I got, a, it's sort of like a Monopoly sort of game in this aspect of you roll the dice and you go to each square um, and you just kind of follow around and each color um, you land on, there are um, cards that you get to grab. So um, I'm going to just show you the dice that I got here. Um, I got these little uh, figures that kids can pick from. Um, I got these from the dollar store. They are just little figures that came in another toy and I grab them and I'm using them as the little people and little characters that, that people get to choose to use. Um, I have four, so you can play up to four, but if you wanna get more little people, you can get little, you can get a whole bunch and play with a whole bunch of people. So um, I did write up some instructions for the game so that um, other people, uh, their staff members could use it and um, sort of know how to play it. Um, you basically, yeah, you just roll, you roll your dice and you're gonna take your little person. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this guy will land it on red, so I'm gonna grab a red card. And here's the fun part for kids here. So you're gonna take your card and you're gonna read it. So the person who picks the card, they get to attempt to read it. Um, and if they're having troubles reading, they can ask one other person to help them. And uh, once they are able to read the card, they then get to pick a treat and enjoy their treat. And the next person goes and that person who got that, read that card gets to keep their card. So you're gonna go again and the next person's gonna go he landed on a green, so you're gonna grab a green card. And now the, that person who grabbed the card is now going to read the word off the card. And once they read the word, they get a treat and then on to the next one. Um, I've also, uh, I played this a couple times with one of my littles who was really getting, who's really reading the words quite quickly. So I've actually, um, made it a little more challenging where he's not only reading the word but then taking the word and putting it into a sentence um, a usable sentence so toast he would say i like peanut butter on my toast and that would be a full sentence and he rewards himself with a treat um, there are, are also squares that are the five w's so making a question so it's these brown ones so you'd have, they'd have to read the word how, and then make a question um, using the word how. A question like, how do you play this game? That would be a question. He would get to keep his card and get a treat and then move on. Um, to make it 
a little fun. I have like, you can lose a turn. Um, so you don't get to read a card, you don't get to treat, you just you just have to wait till it's your turn again. So you lose the turn. Um, the way I've played this, so when I land on start, um, you've gone all the way around and you can kind of do a little happy dance. So you can either happy dance your little person or you yourself can like throw out your favorite dance move. Um, and that's, that's basically how the game that I've made. Treat Train is what I call it. Um, I have played it so that we'll play until all the treats are gone. Or I've played it where um, the kids will want to keep playing and we'll play until all of the cards are actually done. Um, and then after get the game is over, you just read, you count out how many cards you have and um, the person with the most cards gets to do a little dance because they, they're the winners. That's kind of how I created the game. So um, this game is very um, easy to maneuver when it comes to what grades you're wanting your, um, your child might be in. So you can do these cards where it's preschool, um, kindergarten. So if your child is tr just trying to learn numbers or letters, um, if they're trying to learn emotions or the weather, you can make your own cards up um, for, for that age. And then grade one, grade two, cards that might be on their spelling list. You can make cards for that, grade three, grade four. And I have also on here, um, Tanaha ages three to six. So um, we are going to be creating um, this board game to work with Tanaha words. So um, different animals, um, colors and numbers and um, have them in each in each color. So it's it's a really fun uh, game that can be adapted with any age group. Um, and it's, you can pick whichever kind of treats you want. Um, that's why like on my front page, I if you want to put M&Ms, if you want to put cold fish, if you want to put gummy bears, or like, you know, these Welch's gummy gummies, if you want to do apples, if you want to, whichever treat that your ch children love to snack on, you can play this game and it just gives them a little bit of motivation to want to um, practice their spelling and their reading. So um, I just wanted to share that with you on different ideas. Um, and I'm going to just kind of continue to create different ways to um, help kiddos read in a, in a fun way. Uh, a fun kind of way. All right. So yeah, that is my game and I hope that you enjoyed um, seeing it and if you have any questions um, please let me know and that's about it. Have a good day.